All right, first of all, let me apologize if this doesn't go so well. It's the first time I've used this camera in this way. I wanted to show everyone some of the woodworking that I've been doing. Um, most of these are test projects or the first time I've ever tried the technique, so all of it's pretty rough and all of it needs a great deal of refinement, but I'm pretty happy with the way it's going. Now, the first thing I did, and I did this with Nefarious, um, was working on a set of um, like salad uh, tongs, salad uh, fork and spoon uh, for each house in Harry Potter. So this is the Slytherin one, thus the evil skull and the snake wrapping around the fork. Uh, these are based on drawings that Ari did for the project. Um, and what you're seeing right here is the first stage that it's in, which is um, roughly cut out in the shape and depth, although I can't give it true three-dimensional form because it's only a router. Anyway, cut on my Carverite router. And uh, after that, they are taken and uh, worked by hand with the Dremel. So here's how the Slytherin spoon turned out. See, it's got a nice form. Skull turned out all right, but it's a little flat because I did not have that much depth to work with in this board. And the, um, the cutting bit was much larger than I'd expected. So it sort of has the effect of blurring it. Fork turned out well also. Um, snake has a real 3D feel to it. Use a cutting disc to cut underneath the snake where is appropriate and form the face, which is a little cartoonish. And uh, after it was sanded, all I did was rub it in olive oil. And as you can see, or maybe not so well, but it gives it a really rich tone in comparison. Uh, this is oak, by the way, which is very hard and sort of a pain to work with, but it's what I had. Now, the other project that I've been working on is the idea of making hot plates, like to um, put stuff on on your table so it doesn't, doesn't burn. And I had the idea of making them in sort of a scaled-down version of a manhole cover. So I made a few um, six-inch sort of test prints, which are very sloppy. They're thicker than they need to be. And... Um, like I said, I'm using a bigger cutting bit than I would like, so the, the detail's a little blurry. Anyway, this one is supposed to look just like a uh, regular manhole, and it's painted with um, sort of an iron oxide, and then dry brushed with silver to make it look worn. So you can see the raised parts are slightly lighter than the dark parts. Um, but what I really wanted to do was um, versions of the manhole covers that they have in Japan, which are beautiful pieces of art. So this one is a Japanese one that I found and um, carved and painted in exactly the same way with the iron oxide and cut out of oak as well. Uh, it's three quarters of an inch thick here, but if I actually do this project, I'll cut it out of a um, quarter inch or about three eighths inch thickness or even just uh, carve this down to that. So the, the, the slight tinting that I did afterwards of, of the details, which is similar to what they actually do with some of the ones in Japan on the street, uh, nicely brings out the blossoms, I think, but there's there's still the issue that there's, there's not a lot of detail. It probably actually looks better in the video than it does in real life. But it's it's nice nice 3D form to it. Um, and it's a lot nicer than just a picture. Um, Another one I did was much more brightly painted. Um, again, some of the Japanese ones on the street are like this. Uh, you can see in this one as well the troubles that I had getting enough detail out of it. And I've made up a certain amount of the detail um, with the painting. That said, I do like the uh, wood, so I tried a third one which is done with stains rather than, than paint. This one turned out really nicely, I think, and um, 
I think that if I have the finer bit, which I'll order tonight, I'll, I'll be able to do pieces that are very, very nice. And uh, this is, it's cut very shallow, by the way, um, about 0.1 inch deep. I found that if I cut any deeper than that, the uh, wood deteriorated and uh, it really looked so mountainous in, in how high the relief was. It just, it just didn't look right. So uh, I'm sticking with, with 0.1 inch. And in some of the pieces, I also experimented with, with cutting parts of it uh, less deep. Like if you look at this, I hope you can see that the flowers are actually about 0 0.05 inches deep. And, and the far background is 0.1 inch. And I think when I, when I tilt it a bit, that becomes obvious. Anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to show you. So, hope this turned out.